Hello YouTube friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm very happy to report that I have two tanks, two tanks actually operating. Uh, it took a little while, but um, they, are, they are running and set up and uh, the water is treated and they are actually ready for what I'm going to call a test fish. I am uh, using that uh, Zyme, that Frit Zyme 7 First, you have to treat the water to make sure there's no chlorine in it before, before you add the zyme. You just can't just add the Fritz zyme. So you really need to treat the water first or with something like this, like a Fritz Complete. This is called Fritz Complete. And, uh, or you can use something like uh, Seachem Safe. You can see it there. And both these products are, are very, very good products. Both of them are proven. I've used them both with success. Then you can uh, add, after the, the water is chlorine free, you can then go ahead and add your Fritz Zyme 7. The reason you don't want to add the Fritz Zyme 7 uh, right off the bat, of course, is because the chlorine or, and the chloramine in the tank would kill the beneficial bacteria. So I've, I've followed that, that process, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, some fish to the tanks, not a large number all at once, just a few fish, but I'm gonna pick up locally. I don't wanna buy a fish for like 50 or $100 and uh, you know, pay $50 to ship it here or something and then put it into a tank uh, that I'm just sort of testing on. So I'm gonna to go to local pet stores, uh, maybe Petco, PetSmart, uh, see what they have and, uh, and, and drop, drop a couple inexpensive fish into the tanks and see how they do using this uh, so-called instant, the instant cycle and uh, see if a Fritzheim 7 uh, comes, comes through with the uh, promise that they have on the bottle, which allows safe, immediate introduction of livestock and uh, prevents new tank syndrome, establishes and maintains a healthy biofilter, naturally eliminates ammonia and nitrate. Just to tell you a little bit about the tanks, uh, I'll show you a little bit of what's going on in the tank so you get a, a feel for what's happening in there. In this tank here, I have the EcoComplete uh, Aragonite and that aragonite is going to help to buffer this tank which is going to be uh, going to be for African cichlids. I also have what is called an expertmatic filter. I featured them in some uh, in some prior videos. Expertmatic has been kind enough to send me a good number of those so you'll be seeing them in almost all of my tanks. They help to uh, really clear up the water. You see some micro bubbles, that's very common when you first fill up a tank. These micro bubbles will disappear over time. Uh, in the other tank, which I don't have a light on, is sand. That is that, uh, again, it's a, a Carib C product, and it's just Carib C natural sand. I think it's very, very good looking, very pretty. And um, again, I have an a Expertmatic filter in there. The background of the tanks is that uh, Velomax, the uh, vinyl background. I applied that to the back of each of the tanks. On the top of the tank, I have a, a moisture or a condensation, a piece of condensation plastic that I found on the internet. Look at all the, all the water that it's trapping and preventing from evaporating. So these, I just cut to shape and they fit perfectly on the top of the 55 and um, just tucked behind the filter there you can see you have a heater back there and it's keeping the tank exactly at 78 degrees. I'm going to be adding one more beams work. The beams work uh, light 48 inch I believe will be added to this tank as well. I'll be using the uh, end pieces to keep it suspended above the plastic just a little bit. Right now it's laying on the plastic. I'm gonna go ahead and buy, uh, get the pieces that plug in here and it'll hold the light up just a little bit off the plastic. And uh, I'm also gonna be adding, I'm gonna be cutting out the back here and adding two, two uh, of the Marineland Emperor 400s. I've already ordered those off of eBay actually. So those are coming in and will be added to the filtration of these two tanks. So uh, let's go over to Petco and uh, my local Petco and see if they have any fish 
that I can add to these tanks. Once you add beneficial bacteria, you want to make sure that there is something there to be feeding the bacteria. The bacteria has to be fed by uh, ammonia, and that ammonia is produced by the waste of either rotting plants or uh, you know, a decomposing, something dead that's decomposing. Some people will put a, 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 a shrimp, a dead shrimp, you know, in their tank. You want something producing waste that is going to feed the bacteria that the Fritz Zyme 7 product has added. So I'm going to run off and uh, pick up some fish. Not a lot of fish, just a couple maybe for each tank. And uh, this will be African cichlids, and this tank here will be South Americans. So maybe I can find a little, uh, maybe a small Jack Dempsey, maybe a, uh, and maybe an electric blue, something that can just work as a sort of starter or test fish to get the tank rolling. So let's go ahead and hit the road. Let's go to uh, PetSmart and uh, actually Petco, which is the closest one to me, and let's see what they've got in stock. in the uh, 20s early this morning and uh, we were all kind of bundled up went out somewhere the uh, my car was covered in frost something unusual for a uh, for a Southern Californian like me to see but you know I expected that coming here to uh, to Tennessee so uh, but it's warmed up so I don't even have to wear a jacket let's go ahead and get out there to uh, to Petco and get ourselves some fish I'm starting to finally know my way around a little bit here in Tennessee. When I first got here, I really didn't know which way to go to get anywhere. So it's nice to finally be getting a little bit of the lay of the land. This is my local Petco back here, and uh, they had the best fish selection last time when I came around. It's also where I picked up some of my tanks on that 50% off sale. Let's go ahead and take a look inside and see what they have. And uh, I also have right across the street, right across the street, I have uh, PetSmart. So I'm going to hit both these places and uh, see what they got. I like the look of this uh, Jewel Cichlid. Good looking fish. He's on the... Uh, Definitely on the short list here of what I might what I might end up taking home. They had some cichlids, but Mabuna, and I didn't really want to get something that uh, later on I'd, I'd want to or need to bring back. I'm not at a stage where I'm going to be starting a Mabuna tank, so I'm really looking for a, a peacock, some type of a peacock, and a South American cichlid, ideally. You know, fish. One or two fish for each tank. Maybe even something like a, a bushy or bristlenose pleco. Maybe a synodonis cat. Something that can be put in into each of the tanks and provide some uh, ammonia, some waste for the beneficial bacteria that was put into those tanks. That Fritz Zyme 7 product. They did have a nice selection of Mabuna love these platies. If I was getting into live bears, these would definitely be some fish I'd consider. Very cute. I might set up one of my 29 gallon tanks to be a planted live bear tank. I was hoping I'd, I'd uh, get a hold of an electric blue, but for 20 bucks I'd probably go out and pick one up from Critters, which I would trust a little bit better. But unfortunately in this tank all they had were these paired fish, which I'm they're kind of cute, but I'm not really big into them. This Oscar was making a meal out of a tank mate. Look at that. He's way too big for the uh, fire mouths that are in the tank with him. Very cute fire mouths on the left side there, but they're being sort of kept pinned to the wall, completely terrified of that large Oscar. These guppies were very, very pretty. Again, if I had a live bear tank, a community tank, I would have definitely scooped up those two uh, very pretty, very pretty guppies. They had a couple more here in another tank. Needed to get its front panel clean, but you can still see there. Look like a little snake skin. These Odessa barbs were really cute. I'm gonna pick up one fish 
you can try and guess which one. So here's the PetSmart right across the street from the Petco. Let's go inside. Some of you remember I actually did a uh, walkthrough of this PetSmart when I first arrived in Nashville. It was one of the first store walkthroughs I did. I'm going to go right to the fish department. Let's see what they've got. This PetSmart had a very limited selection and uh, really m nothing that I was looking for. Very limited supply of fish in there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, check out another Petco. The Petco seemed to be a little bit more... Um, uh, you know, bet, they seem to be better stocked than the uh, Pet Smarts out here. So I'm going to go to a Petco. It's about 12 miles away over in a town called Brentwood near near uh, near Franklin, and uh, and and see what they've got going on, and because I want to get at least one or two fish into each of them. This is the Petco Petco where I picked up one of my 55 gallon tanks. Let's go right to the fish department and see if I get lucky in here. Unfortunately, they're pretty low in their stock as well, and uh, some of the fish you know, that they would show under the tanks would be uh, desirable, but what was in the tank would be different. This was pretty uh, a pretty fish, and he was a, a pink convict. Not that familiar with convicts, not sure if it's a fish that I would want to have in that South American tank. If you have experience with convicts, uh, give me some information below. That pink one was kind of pretty. Again, they had uh, a jewel, which I'm getting interested in. They, they do, they are a pretty fish. Again, a compatibility issue. Just mean needing a little bit more knowledge because I don't want to put a fish in there that survives and then just has to be then rehomed. Boy, these fish are pretty, but they belong in a community tank. I don't think they would survive with a South American or, a, or African cichlids. Sure are pretty though, red-eyed tetras. Well, maybe I'm be, maybe I'm being too picky, but nothing excited me inside of that store. Maybe I'll check one more place before I, I head home, and uh, I don't want to leave this uh, the one fish that I did get at the first store, which I don't know if you can guess which one that one uh, that one was, but um, I don't want to leave that fish uh, too long in this bag, and I think the car's staying plenty warm, especially here in the sun. But uh, I want to go ahead and get him, put him in a tank. But I might make one more stop and maybe I'll get lucky. Okay, one more pet smart. Wish me luck in this one. Let's go inside. Some good candidates in this store. A strawberry, a strawberry peacock, which would sort of fit the theme of my uh, cichlid tank, the African cichlid tank that I'm setting up. They also had a, an OB, but not really an OB that I was that interested in at this point. They even had a few venuses for sale, but not sure if I want to get into a fish that's going to grow so rapidly and actually be that aggressive initially in the tank. Okay, so I got a couple fish that I can go ahead and uh, put into those uh, one to each of those tanks just to get the, a little bit of, uh, of ammonia going just to feed the beneficial bacteria. Let's go ahead and get them home and uh, floated, acclimated in the tank. So what fish did I end up getting? I ended up actually with uh, one of the little strawberries you can see here. It seems to be doing okay. This is the next morning. I, I put them in last night. I left them dark, let them get a little bit acclimated. And he seems active and healthy. I'm gonna see if I can get him to take some food in a second here. In the second tank, the South American tank, I ended up with the uh, a little fire mouth. See him right there. This is the next morning, he looks okay. A little skittish. He's probably still in shock from living with that large Oscar that was eating the tank mates. So uh, I understand why he's a little shy. These tanks, by the way, uh, the substrate in these tanks was not washed. It was simply put in and then water added. And you can see it's a, they look pretty clear for a tank that was just, uh, just set up yesterday. So I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in and following me along with this uh, journey in this vlog series.
If you haven't already done so, please be sure to hit that, uh, that bell to get future notifications on when I post new material and updates and hit that sub button. I really appreciate it when you support the channel that way. And uh, that's it for me. Thank you so much for tuning in. And hopefully on the next update, I'll have some fish, uh, some additional fish. I'll go over to uh, Critters here in Nashville and uh, make a call to my friend James Largo over at the Cichlid Shack since one of my kids gave me a gift certificate for Christmas. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs>